Hey engineering students, my goal today is to show you how to put together the worm gear mechanism in Onshape. So you have just all these random parts, there are currently no mates, nothing is attached. And so one key piece is to make sure that everything gets placed in the right slots, but also completed with the correct mates. To create a mechanism that looks like this image. So to do that, there are a couple of sets of instructions. Um, one is kind of a basic set of information pieces, and then another set of steps has some specific types of joints or what we call mates in Onshape to complete. So one part of this is mounting a worm gear on the 8x pitch shaft to form the worm gear subassembly. And then we're also supporting that subassembly on each end of the shaft by mounting a 2x2 beam onto the 4x4 plate. And we're supposed to use a 2x wide by 1x2 corner connector, the black piece, as well as two blue one by one connector pins. So before I get to the shaft and the worm gear and trying to place it, I am going to connect the supports, the holders, onto this base. So the four by four base is fixed and it cannot move. And so we do need to place these black corner connectors uh, right into the far end there, those last two slots. So if I um, wheel this around, and move this. Um, one thing that we want to make sure we catch is just this bottom circular edge, um, not the um, flush piece up here. So we do want this bottom side circular piece. So let's hit that uh, fastened mate. That's another word for rigid. Uh, click on that bottom circle. Whoa, too much rotation there. Uh, here we go. And um, now I'm going to select this uh, center point, connector point. Um, so mine came in just nice. You might have to hit the flip or try rotating um, by 90 degrees uh, to make sure that the two pegs go into the um, correct slots there. All right, so that's one piece. Uh, let's do the next one. We're still doing fasten mates, so we can just continue on. We want that bottom circular piece right there. And we want to place that right in here. And the orientation with the um, blue line pointing up, that's definitely what I want there. That helps with the orientation. All right. So you'll notice that I apparently did have a couple of uh, pieces attached. Oh, they are not attached. They just looked like it. <laughs> All right. So we will certainly put the fasten mates um, onto those four blue pegs as well into these holes. Um, so the way I want these to be inserted are with fasten mates and I do want that center connector of this ring. So clicking that attach point, circling this around, and I want, once again want that circular uh, center attach point. Again, you might have to do some flipping. You shouldn't need to do any rotating though. So we do want to see this full edge uh, protruding. And don't worry, that'll get covered up by the gray two by two piece. So take a moment, go ahead and connect the remaining one by one connectors. At this point, I have totally connected all four of those one by one blue connectors. Um, if you need to, back it up to see how I did the first one and then re um, complete the other three. All right, so these two by two gray plates, those need to get attached to the blue connectors. And this is another rigid or fastened mate. Uh, so I'm gonna circle this around. I'm gonna choose the center of the open hole and angle this around and this time I will choose uh, this side of that edge, that fattened edge, and click on that center point. Again, you might have to do some flipping or rotating to get it to line up, um, but this is how it should look. So it mostly covers that ridge. Um, that's how it looks in real life as well. And then um, the blue pieces stick out just a little bit. There's a clip that uh, connects them. So take a moment and go ahead and do another rigid attach point or fastened mate to the other side. So my supports are completed and now I do want to pay attention to putting that um, rest of this together, the worm gear onto the shaft and things like that. So let's take a look um, at the instructions here. So if I scroll down to take a look here, we are creating a rigid or fastened mate between the worm gear and that 8x pitch shaft. It does say to change the offset Z to approximately center the worm gear on the shaft. 
So it is an approximate. It won't be perfect. So I am going to do another fasten mate. And I do want to select the center of the circle, the center of the open um, hole in the worm gear. And then on the end of the shaft, I'll select that center as well. So here's how it came on to the shaft, kind of sticking off the end. I'll flip it around to bump it down and then click on the offset. And the z-axis uh, is the one that we want to change. So if I type about 1, let's see what happens. I went the wrong way. So let's try negative 1. Okay, so it's not quite in the middle. Let's try negative 1.5. I mean, that's roughly close. You can make some adjustments, but we might end up moving it later, too. So that's an approximate. An 8x shaft is about 4 inches long, um, and this is about 1 inch um, for the worm gear itself. All right, let's keep looking. Create a cylinder joint between the 8x pitch shaft from the previous step and the hole of the 2x2 two two beam. All right, so the hole that it's going into is like the second hole from the left uh, on each of these. So one of the ends is going to get a cylindrical, a cylindrical mate. So we do have that option, that exact name here in on shape. So I'm going to select the circular end of the shaft and the center of that second hole. So what this allows, if we hit the X button there, is it allows the shaft to rotate, but also to slide uh, between the two supports. The next step, part E here, create a revolute joint between the 8X pitch shaft and the hole of the other 2x2 two two beam as shown. So we want to lock this thing in place, but still allow it to rotate. So that's what the Revolute Mate is going to do on this end. So I'm going to select here. And then I want to access the center of the 2x2 two two part. And it looks like that is selected. However, if you need to hide some parts, you can do that in the browser bar so that something won't get in your way as you're trying to select another uh, position. So right now, um, this is rotatable, but it is stuck. So I don't like how this is looking. I want it to have um, a more centered effect. So I'm going to edit the Revolute Mate. Having a little trouble accessing it because my other buttons are in the way from my recording. Hmm. Move that aside. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I've edited this Revolute Mate. Go ahead and click on Offset, and we can choose the Z-axis. And if I try positive 1, that is appearing to go the correct way. Um, I liked 1. That might have been a little far. So feel free to edit and make adjustments however looks best to you. Okay. My worm gear might have been a little off-center, and so that's how it's looking. But that looks pretty good at this point. What's next? Part F. Create a rigid joint between the spur gear and a 4x pitch shaft as shown. So now we're looking at um, this vertical bar that we're seeing. So this will be a rigid or fastened mate between the gear and the shaft. So that won't be the part that rotates uh, initially. So let's go ahead and select that center point and do the same thing on the shaft. And, I mean, we definitely want an offset. I can see that already on the z-axis, so maybe a negative 0.5. We'll, we'll deal with that when we need to. We can always make adjustments later by selecting it from the browser bar. After that, create a rigid joint between the end of the shaft from the previous step and a shaft bushing. So that is that small, dark gray piece here at the bottom. Um, so the shaft is going to be inserted and will bump up against... Uh, this piece. So I'm going to select the uh, very bottom center and I'll do the same thing on the end of this shaft. So that is all attached. Lastly, create a revolute joint between the shaft bushing and the 4x4 plate. So this will rotate and obviously everything else that is solid or fastened will rotate along with it. Okay, so the hole that this got placed in, that's another spot to pay attention, uh, is the second from that bottom left corner. So 
so we're revolute. So we want this to sit in, so that's the circle that we're going to choose. And we need to pick a different mate. So revolute mate right here along the bottom. So that's the part that will go into the slot here. There's our center. That looks good. Okay. So at this point, I'm able to rotate this entire mechanism, and I'm able to rotate the worm gear as well. All right, so let's go ahead and make an adjustment on the height of this spur gear so that it contacts the worm gear. So that was, neat for me, fasten mate number 10. Um, and let's go ahead and drop that down, negative 0.9, let's try. So that would contact just the top, so maybe negative one. And to me, that looks really, really good. So I'll hit the green check mark there. And so you can also turn and try to line up the gears a little bit with what's going on on the worm gear. And that looks fantastic. In the next video, I will take you through how to animate this.